So today is video is going to be about uh, spiritual awakening and healing process. A lot of people are experiencing spiritual growth and the symptoms associated with spiritual growth, which may pose difficulties for them when um, there is a lack of right resources, tools, knowledge, awareness, or a teacher around you. So we will talk a uh, dig a little deeper into what is happening in our systems when we are awakening to our authenticity. Because what is spiritual awakening? Spiritual awakening is all about uh, accessing your authentic self. And accessing our authentic self is uh, deconditioning <laughs> our consciousness and our minds of whatever we have acquired through the minds of others and accessing our own wholeness through our connection to the universal spirit of unity consciousness. So basically, the purpose of spiritual awakening is to bring us into our wholeness, and our wholeness lies in that understanding and that perceptiveness of uh, being one with everything around us. And uh, that brings us uh, out of our anxieties, out of our fears when, if we are able to perceive or experience that unity, even for the split seconds, it's very healing force because it's going to make you realize that you are not separate from the source and the source is present in and around you everywhere. So once that, that realization hits you, it hits the every cell of your body and mind, your consciousness, the energy of your consciousness is uh, bathed in that realization. That is the magic where you are going to heal yourself. And uh, it's basically why we experience fears, anxieties, or any kind of depression, sadness, when we are separated from the source, when we are separated from that innate, experientially we are separated. I mean, say intellectually, we may say that, yeah, I know that unity consciousness is that, but it is about experiencing it in your deepest being, that oneness, the feeling of oneness, that reality of oneness. And when that reality hits you, it's not easy to take it in. <laughs> so it happens in leaps and bounds in your spiritual uh, awakening process or in your healing process. Authentic healing process is not free from pain, confusion, and turmoil. So you have to keep that in mind that there is no transformation. Pain is very transformative. In order to reach your authentic self, you need to go through some um, grief, some sadness, some sorrow, because it's not possible to break away from old without having a sense of loss that your ego is going to experience when you're shedding the old skin and the new has not formed yet because all your old experiences were based on your memory system and your perceptual system and your conditioned self that was associated with your old belief patterns, your old way of living, your old way of relating that was originating from your ego and defense mechanisms that you acquired in your early developmental stages. So the healing process is all about uh, bringing us back to our early development stages and where we need to repair, where we need to repair the faulty belief systems. And belief is power, belief is energy. So when we are repairing our belief systems or when we are shedding the old belief systems, that is the painful part because it is not easy to part away from a part of you. So parting away from a part of you, it is just like your hand, your fingers, if, if one finger is cut, it's so painful. So this is happening at the 3D level, but your belief is intangible. It is happening at the 
energy level, but the pain is the same, whether it is physical or energetic, you're going to experience the similar pain when you're parting away from your old belief systems, because you're not going to access your authentic self unless you are going to say bye-bye <laughs> to your old self. And that is where you are going to experience different stages of, um, you will have to process your grief of parting away from your old belief systems in the ways you were relating to others around you. And it all comes to your attachment systems, <laughs> how you were attaching yourself to the people in your life, how you were attaching yourself to your own sense of self. So when your own sense of self is falling apart and how you were relating earlier with the people around you is falling apart, you will be sensing a totally new you. It is like you are breaking from your cocoon shell and trying to be a butterfly. It is that journey. And you can imagine that your pain that you're going to process, it's not going to go waste because you're going to fly and you're going to have an overview from the top. And it's a beautiful view you're going to experience, which you would have never experienced if you were living in your shell as a cocoon. So you are going to have great time once you pass this universal test of processing through your grief process and emerging a new you. So I do uh, consult people who are going through these stages of grief because I have processed those stages myself. And I understand that it's not easy to survive through that process. It is a very painful process as I've talked in my other videos also, it's like a dark night of the soul where your brain, brain is totally transforming. And this is happening in your uh, Kundalini process as well, because in Kundalini process is a totally neurobiological process. It is a psycho-spiritual process. It's not only that your changes are happening uh, in your consciousness, the changes that are happening in your consciousness through your body. So the energy that is moving through your body and it, how it is changing, bringing changes in your nervous system, because the old uh, belief system and the old ways of relating is no longer working now. So, and new is coming in and the pain is created, the confusion is created because you are in no man's land where the old is no more present and the new has not emerged yet. So that part of your process, if you understand, is called the dark night of the soul, that middle um, part where the old is left behind, the new has not already formed. So the mid part is somewhere we, where you need to really have faith, faith in the universe, faith in the higher power and surrender to the process. And believe me, surrender is the key here. Surrendering, through that surrender, you're going to receive the grace. You're going to be graced to uh, emerge into new world, into the new world view, into the new ways of perceiving your reality and experiencing your freedom. And it's only that a journey where your old ways, your ego, which was deriving its power from uh, defensive belief patterns is dying off and a new universal energy is penetrating uh, through your energy field, making you aware of uh, the real you and your connection uh, with your own wholeness and you're becoming aware of uh, more uh, you as frequency, as energetic being, not so much as somebody uh, who is only a mother or a father or a sister or a wife. You are perceiving yourself as an energetic being first, and that is where your journey of self-love, authentic self-love is going to happen when you are shedding off your old skin of faulty defensive survival patterns in your physiology 
that your neurology <laughs> is going to benefit and emerge more free from that shedding of the old faulty belief patterns so that you can submerge your consciousness into the new whole ways of perceiving life around you and experience the flavors of life through that filter of wholeness, which will be coming from a healthy sense of ego that is free from anxieties and fears, which are usually happening from the faulty egoic self that believes in separation, that believes in judging, that believes in uh, creating defensive shield around itself and fails to listen completely, fails to use its five senses in the fullness uh, that filter is changing, believe me, in your spiritual awakening and in your healing process. So your quality of experiences is going to emerge and uplift as well as your frequency is uplifting through that healing process. So uh, healing is all about processing your faulty, defensive, survival belief patterns and stepping out of your comfort zone. Your authentic self cannot be reached without stepping out of your comfort zone. So it is like bringing you out of your familiar ways of behaving, your habitual patterns, new ways of looking at life, living life, your diet changes, your behavior will change, and everything about and around you is going to change with that. That is what is happening in your spiritual awakening as you are breaking through the shell of a cocoon and in the process of becoming a butterfly. It is, it is not easy journey and there's no looking back once you are on the path because when the authentic healing is happening, it is happening in a very organic way. Your body is an intelligent system. It knows <laughs> how it, that compass is set it knows it's like a domino effect. Once you're pushed into your energy is pushed into the healing zone, there's no looking back. Nature, universe has intelligently planned your system that you are going to rock and roll on your journey. Believe me, <laughs> just, just surrender, believe, and you will receive the grace and you will be able to tap into your intuitive resources and connect with the source that is going to guide you to see through your own process, through symbols, dreams, intuitive uh, messages you're going to receive, synchronicities that you're going to look in, around you. A lot of things begin to happen when you pull your attention away from the energy of fear and start connecting with the sublime energy of your healing process. A lot will emerge out of that. Believe me, try it. I have been there and I have processed my grief. I have processed my pain. And I tell you, just do it with surrender, believe and have faith. And you will emerge out at the other side of the tunnel where you can see the bright light you have never seen before. Stay blessed. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you're welcome to subscribe if you liked my video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>